Welcome class to a workshop on Coach Joe rules. In this lesson, we will review Coach Joe rule number seven, which states, a method should do only one thing. Code you encounter becomes confusing and hard to read when a method does more than one thing. The name of the method advertises a specific action, but does more. Because of this misleading name, you're forced to inspect the contents of the method to understand all the actions. These are known as side effects, which add confusion, waste valuable time, and prevents code reusability. Methods can be simplified into four common types that represent a single action. The getter setter method. A return value action occurs with the getter method, typically from a property variable or calculation. An assignment action occurs with the setter method. There are times when both occur. A single void action method. This method will perform an action without returning a value. A decision point is an if statement that has a true condition and possibly false condition. The code block for a true and false result are two different things. If the true and false code blocks call a well-named method, then the purpose of the if statement is to redirect the flow of code. This decision point is considered one thing. If the true or false code block execute more coding statements, this may be an indication more than one thing is happening. Step-by-step -step instructions are a series of method calls needed to perform a multi-step process. Each method will do a single task. All the methods combined will perform a single larger task. Let's review this method that plays the pick a number game. Here, a number to guess is assigned. The player is prompted to guess a number. The result of the guess is determined. The result is displayed. It loops while the number has not been guessed, and the game ends. You should see around five to seven unique actions. Clearly, this method is doing more than one thing. Fixing the method to do one thing will involve breaking up the method into smaller methods and possibly rethinking the object-oriented design. Consider the four common method types when refactoring the code. Let's start by moving the number to guess into its own getter setter method. It's common to have compiler errors while refactoring the code. Because other future methods will need to know the number to guess value, let's make an object oriented design change and convert all the method variables into private properties of the class. The player guess prompt could be its own getter setter method. It turns out all this code does one thing it determines the result of the guess. After a little cleanup, this decision point method does one thing. Displaying the result of the guess would be a good single void action method. After creating all these smaller methods, the original pick a number game method can be converted into a step by step instruction method. Looking at the improved code, each method is now doing only one thing. There is no one correct answer. Junior and senior level developers will write a working program. The difference is, senior level developers will follow the preferred standards. The cleaner code is easier to read, test, and maintain, which will save time and reduce future issues. Leave a comment down below if your methods have one or many responsibilities. Look for other helpful Coach Joe videos. Remember, future senior developers, make it work, prove it works, then make it better. Ready? Break!